Downtown, downtown, downtown <laughs> Abbey. Good one. Well, that's what everybody was calling the, the series with a person. Did you see downtown Abbey last night? Uh, no, no, it's downtown so Abbey. Downtown. So this is downtown Abbey. <laughs> Rainy has made the fireplace. And then this goes on to it. It's got to be cut down just a little bit of sanded down. Then we'll paint this white. The whole thing white. Then... Linda will start to marbleize it so it looks like a marble fireplace. Yeah. And we've got the tile here, which is a marble. And we made the fireplace fender out of a, me, out of a shelf for spices. So we got that, cut it down, sprayed it, sort of a brass color. And that'll go in the front here. And then up on the top, okay. will be not necessarily these guys, it might be two of this one or so, and then something in the center. I don't know which one of it'll be yet, but that will do. But in the meantime, we've got to sand this all down to make it smooth for Linda's, for, so we can paint it. Yeah. And and there'll be some greenery or flowers and a wreath up here and something in the center here sitting on the mantel. So that's that's the fireplace coming coming along. But you are you are a master of finding the little thing the little everyday things and making them fit and to be just really be something elegant like this. Well you try and think of like what can I use to make this with? Or because everything that we're doing is quarter scale, so that's three inches to the foot. And you think, well, we could use doll furniture and doll things, but that's one twelfth, so it's way too small. And Angela's also doing the research at the same time of like what kind of potatoes would mm -hmm. be used at that time in England. Uh, of course, there are like 500 and some odd different kinds right, of potatoes. Right, there was quite a variety. Uh, so definitely trying to get things within the, the time era that we're working on, which is the 1920s and in the area which is england so definitely trying to stay true uh to mr bob's vision and and you know scale everything and then make it historically accurate so hopefully it'll all come together and this is one of the figures for the window so angela can sort of take and say oh well, does that fit would yeah. that be sort of right and yes, it is. Look at that. Yeah. That's that's what's Bob so interesting about this of how you, you everything everything is just right, and it's historically accurate too. Mm -hmm. Well, for this one, it is uh, more of a historical time that we're using in the twenties, and we're doing Downtown Al uh, Abbey, which will take off on Downtown Abbey, and. It's, we're really having fun with it, I am at least, uh, and I hope everybody else is. We've got uh, glassware, uh, wine glasses that are being made by a glass blower in Richmond, mm -hmm. uh, and they should be here sometime this week, and they're all to scale and all hand blown. I want them to have a ham stand, and so what, what are we using for a ham stand? It's a small plate, a cup. Inverted, so we've got the ham stand, and then there will be a ham on you top know, of it. Through that. him, through his little findings, you know, like this is a nutmeg grinder, but it is to scale a large cheese grinder. Yeah. So, you know, it's just trying to find things that, you know, can double duty. I looked work. up, you know, like I said, all the historical things as well as movie clips and, or TV clips, trying to, you know, get the Downton Abbey, you know, just get how they would prep things yeah. and how, how they would work things out because of course now in what 2019 almost 2020 everything is bright and vibrant yeah. whereas in 1920 everything is a lot more understated a lot more muted so you know then it's you know taking that back you know they didn't do red apples they did green apples they yeah. you know just th some of those little details that 
probably the mass majority out there won't won't notice, but there'll be the, those few that yeah. definitely come by and yeah. they'll be like, ah, oh, right there. Yep, that's exactly. That's why. That's exactly you are so good at making something out of a lot of different pieces. This is Bob. Bob is brilliant. Bob is, I mean, Bob and Tom both are able to visualize something, or rather, Bob is able to visualize it and sit down, and then Tom is able to like, oh, well, I can do this and this and this. But in this case, Bob, you know, he has these little tiny lamp shades that we, we ripped off all of the fabric covering them. And then because they have this little clip in here yeah. that would hold a little flat, a little bulb, he's gonna be, we're gonna be able to, you know, we just glued a zillion beads all over them and lots of bling. And then we're gonna put little tiny, almost like birthday candles around it. And a little bulb's gonna be inside and these things are gonna be hanging down. And it's just gonna sparkle and be just this really wonderful, elegant chandeliers. So we have two of them. All from lampshades. Well, if you can look at it, you could see how this might've one time been covered by fabric. And we just ripped that mm -hmm. all off and then reframed and then just glued a lot of we a lot of glued a lot of beads all over them. I'm gonna roll these strips up and they are going to become, I'll glue them up, but then they're gonna become the little holders that I'm gonna glue all around here for these candles. Okay, aren't these over the top? <laughs> Look at that. So so they're gonna sit in these little silver holders all around these things and it's just gonna be one big sparkly mm. yeah. So it's all very, very cool. See, cause like these hoops, you can tell with this one, you can really tell with this one, these hoops are those embroidery hoops. Mm -hmm. So it's just, just cool. Can you see right now what it will look like on Thursday yeah. night? Oh yeah, so there's a couple of things I'm just, like is that, is the rug going to be right? Because uh, we've never tried it because we haven't had the window. Yeah. So once the rug gets down, we'll be able to tell a little bit more what, what's happening with it. But it's coming together well. I'm, I'm pleased. Uh, that Tom has got the crown molding done, the wainscoting, the door that will go. And it's a lot of it. Once we get this wall back in, then we can put the platforms in. Then we can really start doing stuff on it. So it'll work. It'll work out well. I'm happy. The yeah. details. I like. I like that you're the smallest details. It's, people are expecting the details, and it's if you don't do it right, it doesn't look right. So no. we're trying to do everything that we can to make it look as good as we can. You learn. You learn from the master. But yes, every year you learn a little something different and a different tip or trick. Uh, you know, Bob's been doing this for 60 years, so he knows a little something about it. Well, the, the thing that always that's interesting to watch is just the scale of everything, how you all make the scale work and for the whole thing. Inventing things out of new things, out of old things, and trying to fit that scale is always a challenge. Uh, but a fun and unique one. Yeah, it's all about the visual and about what people see from one side. So we've created a one-sided world that is three-dimensional for everyone to look at. I never thought of that, yeah. Because some of this, you don't have to worry about painting the back of it because I'm never going to see that. That's right. Uh, but you do need to make sure that whatever anybody sees is done through and through. Yeah. Um, Try to match. You could have done this without a crushing. Just to put water in it, let it freeze, and then bend it. Okay. On the process. Uh, it is. Right. Nobody... Can we cut off a smaller piece and I get that? I'll get that in the freezer. Yeah. Okay. I'll just do that right now. Right, perfect. So we we think this will work for this then. Yes. So we'll make that happen, and yep. then I think just yeah. having this here will serve as that. And there's, I can, or unless you want me to hot glue that and then paint this, or should I just do it out of clay this size? Now, if you want to paint that, it's fine. It's not, this is not a chore. No, and that's, I was just going to say, everybody, all week long, you you are all are doing this all week, but everybody's having a good time. Well, we're having a good time doing it, and 
Nobody's, there's no egos. Nobody's saying, oh, I don't like that. Let's not do this. Or, um, or this isn't right. Uh, we try and work it out. Already? Yes. She's going to help you. <laughs> and the other thing is just that I, I've i seen you, you. You can go from this to manning the, the cash register to taking someone around the store. I mean, it really is a... It's, it's really... You have, to, you have to be able to do a lot of different things. Yeah. That's what retail is about, I guess. <laughs> But no, no, nobody has gotten, nobody has gotten annoyed with one another. Everybody no, just yeah. works as it's. it's no, I've got a good team. This yeah. is a fantastic team. Yeah. Was, I've got wonderful people doing great work and I'm, I'm so proud of them. I couldn't be happier because I think it really has turned out beautifully. And everyone has just, my whole staff and has worked so hard on it. And as I was driving in tonight, I just thought we are I don't know that we we know in this area how fortunate we are to have something like this. This, this is this is exciting. Thank you, thank you very much. It's, and I keep thinking, should I keep on doing it because it gets more expensive each year, and I'm getting a little too old at times to do some of this stuff. But as long as I can keep on doing it, I'll keep on doing it. I sure yeah. hope you do it a few more times at <laughs> least. I, this is this really it, the, to see behind the scenes, and like you to say, when you, you between between you and your staff. Boy, you're a, you're, a, you're a great team. I think we are. And I'm very fortunate to have them, people like that. And they're friends, too. So it's not just uh, people that I'm working with or working for me. Thank you again. You're more than welcome. And Merry Christmas. <laughs>